In security matters, working out the privacy kinks in CISA. Last December, Congress passed and President Obama signed the Cybersecurity Information Sharing Act. It creates a new information sharing regime between the private sector and the Department of Homeland Security. This week, DHS released a privacy assessment. Here to break it down is Sean Lingus, staff writer for FCW. All right, Sean, refresh our collective memory. What is CISA and what did it accomplish? CISA is the Cyber Information uh, Sharing Act uh, of 2015. It's a, it's a bill that uh, lawmakers were tr in trying to pass in, in some form for uh, several years. Uh, what it does is it removes uh, liabilities uh, for private sector companies to share information uh, with the government on potential cyber threats uh, so that these companies uh, won't get sued for disclosing personal information uh, of of um, of their clients, uh, so it, it it took away a big impediment. Uh, the supporters of the of the bill say to information sharing, um, but it also drew the ire, as it always has, of, of privacy advocates who who worry that this is uh, a disproportionate sharing of information that doesn't uh, uh, result in a in a in a uh, protecting uh, against cyber threats. I'm going to follow up on that point later, Sean. But from your reporting, it appears the execution of this law is a work in progress. DHS is still adjusting something called the Automated Indicator Sharing Program. Tell us more. Right. Uh, the the uh, AIS is basically implementing the law and 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 uh, uh, formalizing the process, uh, which was already there to. Um, share information threats and um, DHS uh, periodically does uh, privacy assessments of um, of the of, of how well privacy is being protected and the, the sharing of this threat information and the first major assessment after CISA was passed which was released uh, this week found that um, there is still some quote residual um, personally identifiable information not related to, to cyber threats that could be being shared um, they're trying to fix that, um, but uh, as you probably know, that that's not going to sound good to um, pr privacy advocates. Uh, lots of groups in and around Washington who have been very vocal about the um, the measures that are in in this uh, law. So th there's a lot of work to be done, and um, DHS is, I think, acknowledging that, and and it'll be on all the stakeholders to 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 follow up in the coming months to make to see if there is improvements being made. There are hurdles to overcome and like many major IT initiatives, CISA continues to evolve, but it's also law. So who or what gives DHS the authority to make these changes? Yeah, the law gave gave DHS the authority. It, it, it helped codify them as the entity for information sharing. Uh, it, it's worth pointing out that uh, DHS is a civilian agency and they like to remind private sector companies that they're not an intelligence agency uh, if companies are, are skittish about sharing information with DHS. Another point I would say is that DHS has raised uh, concerns about privacy in, in, uh, in earlier iterations of the legislation. Uh, they, they raised concerns that uh, the, the legislation was too uh, too much uh, in the way of surveillance and, and uh, involving other agencies. DHS wants to be the focal point. They want to own the privacy issue, um, and um, it'll it'll be on them if if this uh, law is implemented in a in a uh, uh, you know he heavy-handed way and not protecting privacy. Well, it sounds as though privacy advocates have not backed off. So put this all together for us, Sean. So far, does CISA appear to be working as intended? And what should we, we, we be looking for in the months ahead? It's hard to really tell right now if it's working as intended. Uh, this is, CISA is designed to get agencies and, and, and private companies up to a baseline level of protection where known threats are being blocked. Still, that obviously does not block the more malicious unknown uh, threats. So critics of CISA say it wouldn't have helped some of the massive uh, uh, hacks of government agencies uh, that we've seen in recent uh, years. So it's, I think it's too early to tell if it's how well it's working. Um, advocates will, will want to point to a some sort of tangible progress, um, but in cybersecurity, it's it's often difficult to measure progress in that way. So so we'll, we'll see. You're right, it's hard to measure progress until it's too late. Sean Ling is staff writer for FCW. Thanks, Sean. Thank you, Morris.